Welcome in. Welcome in. Hello there. Hello. Hello there. General, General Kenobi. Kenobi. Good to be in. Uh, good to see you again, Jeffrey. Yeah, good to see you as well. Ah, uh, uh, we are officially alive, hey. and I am excited. I've been looking forward to this all week, mm. da, da, da. because we, well, you get to play Chrono Cross, and I get to watch. Yes. Now, if I can adjust my microphone to get where I want it to be. We'll be in better shape. Yes, yes. All righty. All right. Okay. So, real quick. How are we doing? Yeah, we're we're feeling good. good? Yeah. All right. We can go ahead and jump on over to the gameplay mm -hmm. then. We'll wait for a couple bit, a little bit, see if some people will jump in. But yeah. might as well jump in yep. to the gameplay. We'll cool. be in the middle of the lovely cutscene. See. Take us back to the title screen. There we go. Look at that. Chrono Cross. For a 19 year old game, 18, 20 year old game, yep. going on 20. One of the last games developed by Squaresoft before they merged with Enix. Nice. You got to be closer to the mic, by ah. the way. People won't be able to hear you. Nobody wants to hear me anyway. It's fine. I want to be able to hear you. Mm. And they won't be able to hear anything of what you just said. Yeah. yeah, so it's the last game done by Square Squaresoft. Square, so Square. Yeah. Squaresoft before they merged with Enix. Yeah. Huh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Now, before we start the game, I have one question for you. I have one answer for you. And this question will mean absolutely nothing to you until we get to the point in the game where I have to make a decision. Okay. So, knife or spatula? <laughs> uh, this sounds like a question between going hard and going meme. So, I guess, meme it up? Okay. <laughs> You've asked for this. I don't know. This sounds like poor decisions being made right now. hey -o! Welcome in. It's Phoenix. Phoenix. Welcome. Greetings, bird boy. <sighs> if you're give me a sip of that water. Make sure to stay hydrated. I'll have to get you some water here later. Because you need to stay hydrated. Who drinks water? Me. But yes, Tyler made the same decision when I posed the question to him last night. And he understood the question, so... Mm hmm. That Ooh. doesn't make me feel so bad. Ooh, hey. Starting the game with a character, there's no way in hell we could have that at this point. <laughs> That's fantastic. Poor lot. There's no turning back now. <laughs> Don't worry. This should make no sense to you. Okay. That's good. Because it doesn't. we start do the proper thing make it so I run automatically there's automatically. never a reason to walk there's never a reason to walk good to know should I ever play this game yes. you will play this game at some point I will have to. You, you definitely will have to. Yeah. You can tell your main character, Surge, here. Mm-hmm. Rather well-designed, considering the era. Everything simple, but not too much, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a gorgeous game. Oh. Thing. Old. I'm gonna so, is it not? It's not random battles like do -do 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 -do. Uh, you dive into battles if you hit an enemy. It's not random battles in every area. 
Yeah. And usually you can avoid combat through this. Combat system is seven. You have seven stamina. Attacks have percentage to hit. Uh, mm -hmm. No, it's that one. And each time you hit, your hit chance goes up with every single attack. Gotcha. And you have seven stamina per turn? Uh, well, what it is, is each time one of your characters uses stamina, uh, you have a stamina recovery rate. So as you see, I attacked with Kid, and Surge recovered one stamina for a one stamina attack. Hmm. Two for a two, and three for a three. Gotcha. But if you use your abilities, they automatically take you down to negative seven, and you have to recover back up. Hmm. And not every character has a stamina recovery rate that is the same. Some have a uh, recovery rate that is below one, and some have one that's above one. Hmm. And you have basically magic you can use, but you have to charge up with your attacks. Gotcha. Yep. And as there is no technical levels in the game, mm -hmm. you gain stats at the end of each battle. And once you defeat a boss, you gain a star, which is used for summons, which we'll get to quite a while down the road. Gotcha. But that's when you gain a majority of your stats. All right. So there is almost no grinding in this game. Hmm. Unless you're searching for a certain ability or something. Other than that, excellent. At a moment of, where am I going? Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, where no. are you going? I knew where I was going. I'm just like, wait, is this the right way? I haven't done this in a while. Like two months? Since I played this last? Mm -hmm. So. Don't mention that game around me, Phoenix. You're making me sad. Legend of Dragoon. Legend of Dragoon. Good game. Really good game. <laughs> Every way is the right way. I mean, uh, they'll all lead somewhere eventually. You're not wrong, but you're absolutely wrong. Uh. Uh. Woohoo, teleporting. Yes, yes, and yes. This section of the game is actually a fast forward to a spot several hours in. Mm -hmm. And as the tutorial, it starts you with two characters that have to be here. Yep. And one random character from the list. Mm. So it is possible in this tutorial to have a character that is completely impossible to have at this point in the game. Ah, and you do. Yes. Because that's a, funny. the character that's with us, Orla, uh, you can only get after this section because something will happen. No, not going to spoil it, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of people who already know. And uh, then you have to prove it's you and then transform back into yourself. And then get her. That sounds like a lot of stuff that I won't really understand until I get there. Yeah, yeah. This also seems like a lot of plot that I should be paying attention to instead of sending out text messages that were live. Don't worry. This <laughs> is all a dream. Chat can't be wrong. I disagree. Chat uh, can always lie to me. I've been a part of chat. It can always be wrong. Chat loves to lie to me just to make me suffer. That's that's exclusively me. That's just me. <laughs> and I'm here, so I can't be a part of chat. Fair enough. The cutscenes are pretty fantastic. I am impressed. No. 
I mean, they're not cutscenes from now and days, but they're definitely what I could remember just to be gorgeous for the time. Hey, and we woke up. That was all a dream. None of that ever happened. I'm taking something that you would have no idea was here in the game. Hey, -o. nice. I too oh. have two hundred dollars just sitting underneath my bed. I don't, but if I did, I have two hundred dollars sitting somewhere in my house. Hello, mom. Hello, cat. Talk to the cat. Cat is definitely who we're here to see. Oh, I forgot there are two cats. Goodbye, mom. Goodbye, mom. Let's go in here. This music is fantastic. Yes. Composed by the same man who did the early Final Fantasy games. I need to do... I need to start listening to this OSD. I really do. Yes, you do. Another thing you would not know was here. You store your 200 gill in your gill gun. I don't know what a gill gun is, but it sounds like something that shoots money. Does it like make it rain style? Like the ones that you like shove a stack of one dollar bills in and it's just a conveyor belt that just like Tommy with those twenties at DM. <laughs> Gil toss. Final Fantasy V. I've been dreaming gotcha. about becoming a poet and I'm just gonna walk away. I need to play the Final Fantasy games. The only one that I've really actually played is some of one. Listen, man. <laughs> There's a reason I'm streaming. Yes. Time to go into my girlfriend's house. That I can steal magic from her plant <laughs> pot <laughs> and look at her dog's house. The dog is uh, quite pink. Yes. Yes. Aggressively pink. Yes. Don't worry. She is more aggressively pink in person. We're about to find out. Now, the current plot is I was supposed to meet my girlfriend early this morning. And mm -hmm. I overslept. Gotcha. So I'm supposed to go find her. Gotcha. I'm going the opposite way. Okay. As, as you do. Because here's where the combat tutorial is. Gotcha. I am not going through the combat tutorial. Okay. I am going for the dog. You're going for the dog. Holy cow. So this item that you wouldn't have known was there, which you use on the dog, <laughs> and get the dog as a member of your party. <laughs> you got all the secrets, don't you? I you have played this game before. Yeah. Once or twice. Okay. You need to stop being so unprofessional. And... Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that is fantastic. Uh, um, uh, victory music. Yep. That's what it is. Don't worry. We will hear that so much we will start to get tired of it. I, I can kind of understand that. Let's equip. Another part of the game I should probably explain. Okay. Every character has an innate element. Okay. Which uh, strengthens elements, which is the magic of that type. There okay. are six, technically. Okay. We won't we won't get into that. That's that's lower stuff. But as you can see, you have an element grid that mm -hmm. you can put yours in. Some people have like a giant pyramid that goes out and they get less if they go up. Some people just have a block and just have the same amount. Some yeah. people are just like, screw you guys, I have one seventh level element and that's it. <laughs> but uh, at points in the game when you've defeated a certain number of enemies, you will unlock uh, a specific skill per character 
mm -hmm. for your third, for one of your third, fifth, and seventh level elements. Gotcha. And they are all rather powerful. Hmm. This will probably not make sense to me until I actually play the game. Yes. Or until I watch you play the game enough. Yep. I could talk to the old man and get that completely described to you exactly as I said it. Nearly. Yep. But, meh. I probably won't understand it. I'm yeah. a hands-on learner. So. So. Just enjoying this wonderful, wonderful music. Yes. It's good stuff. Oh, hey, another thing you wouldn't know was there. Ew. Uh. Now, if you don't mind a mild spoiler, there's a ray gun in that giant fish. <laughs> There's a ray gun in that fish. Yes. So and a, a space alien's ray gun. All right. Okay. Show me your elements. Come at me. What are you, the Avatar? Yes. Your element is cabbages. Cabbages. My cabbages! My cabbages! And there goes all my money. No. Meh. Well, why did I have five aqua beams? I didn't even know I had that many. We'll start to get slowly closer to the point that is where a that sentence. Good question, Phoenix. That is a very good question. I don't know what type of game it is, but it's a SquareSoft game from the late '90s, early 2000s. Of course, there's aliens. <laughs> All right. Your girlfriend's name is Lena. Good to know. And as you will be able to read in her text, if you're not reading the other texts that you are getting. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to send up texts that were live. She is not exactly the best girlfriend. Mm. Not that she's necessarily a bad person, mm -hmm. but, uh, a bit self-centered. <laughs> gotcha. I want you to go kill these things that are actually dangerous to get me a necklace. Because I want a necklace, and that's what's important, isn't it? Gotcha. I would join you, but it's your fault you were late. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. So here's one of the first choices you get in the game. Is that okay with you? <laughs> For you to go get this Komodo scale necklace that is so important to me, <laughs> Yet your character, so far, has a history of just blowing this girl off. Mm -hmm. Make your choice. So you have a history of blowing this girl off. But you're dating. But you're dating. And she tells you to go kill these Komodo dragons without hesitation. Mm -hmm. So she assumes you can do it. Either that or is saying, do it or not um i'm not sure uh, i'll be perfectly honest with you this choice means nothing I, it's entirely I, flavor figured 
I'd probably say, nah, forget it. I pick that every time after <laughs> having played this game for a while, just for this. Excuse me? What did you say? Especially since it seems that this would be the first time your character actually stands up for himself. Hmm. It's your fault for sleeping in. <laughs> it's all your fault. Mm. Now this is just getting excessive. That's getting extreme. Only three scales. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Three oh scales versus overly controlling girlfriend. <laughs> And now I will address the question that I had asked you a while ago. Oh, wait, I'm going to talk to her brother first. I like this kid. <laughs> Seems like ADHD the game currently. Oh, wait, no, that's not her brother. That's some kid that means nothing. Never mind. Ah, world map. Map. Now here's the here's the terrible problem for me. Mm -hmm. I can wander into the Hydra marshes. Oh gosh, that not where I'm dangerous. supposed to go. That's not where I'm supposed to go at all. That sounds dangerous. Or I can go to the wonderful Cape Howl, which is completely pointless at this point. But mm -hmm. hey, you know. Hmm. And now it's time for puzzles in combat. As you can kind of see, well, the one thing somewhat lacking in this game is uh, anime design, but eh, can't be perfect. Yep. I mean, you can, but mm -hmm. so what happens if both of your party members run out of stamina? That means the enemy gets an extended turn, which recovers you a certain portion of your stamina. Mm. But you get no actions while the enemy is doing things at all. Gotcha. For the most part, during a lot of these fights, I will not use magic. Not because it costs anything, not because it does anything. But there's not a huge reason to. Mm -hmm. And you, at the end of your fights, you can use consumable magic things that you get. Or you can use uh, your abilities to heal. Mm -hmm. Which is why sometimes it's good to just not use magic and be like, Oh yeah, I'm just going to use this cure ability that I've had and just heal at the end of the fight. I'm at full health. It's fine. Fireball. Oh, man. <laughs> Whole reason I pulled him out. Got Filbert over there by you. Now, somewhere around in this area is actually a guy who tells you how to uh, fight the three Komodo dragons because they tend to wander around and run. Mm -hmm. But you have to trap one of them in this tunnel with a rock. There is one that you get on a ledge above and jump onto. Mm -hmm. And one, I'm very sad that this isn't our second time playing through because there's a time acceleration thing you get. You have to chase until you catch him in a circle. That uh, sounds rough. It's not as bad as it sounds, but mm -hmm. 
it, it, it gets to the point where you're just like, I don't want to run in circles and mm, yeah. So normally you wouldn't have the dog at this point, it'd be just oh. you. Yeah. Because unless you've done a bunch of exploring and gone through the all the houses, like considering this is a JRPG, mm -hmm. most playthroughs people would assume you would have. You would not have the dog. Yeah. But uh, it is entirely likely that for a first time player you would be doing all of this with just your main character. And as you may have noticed, the dog has a slightly lower stamina recovery rate mm -hmm. than one. Yep, it's official. Gotta start listening to these OST. Uh, yes. When you start listening to the OST, you will get to one song that specifically I have very bad memories of. Because it was a boss, one of the it was a boss fight song or a boss about midway through the game. Mm -hmm. People who've played the game know exactly who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It's... When you get stuck on him? Well, normally you wouldn't. I got stuck on him as, like, eight-year-old me. Mm -hmm. And he has a very long, unskippable cutscene before him that plays this music. And then you get into his fight... Which is actually relatively difficult. Rough. I have fought that man more times than I am comfortable admitting. controller in my hands, I'll be honest. I'm used to playing the games, not just sitting here watching. Yes. Oh. Meh. This is a different experience. Thanks. Yes, it is. I have to stay focused on multiple different things. Oh. Of course, I guess that's, that's rough on my ADHD. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. that I have fireball. Mm -hmm. I have not equipped fireball. Because? And you also may have noticed I'm fighting a bunch of things that are elementally blue. Yeah. But the elements I've equipped are all mostly blue. Is it because blue are, is weak to blue? or? Uh, blue is weak to red. Red Kay. is weak to blue. Okay. Green is weak to yellow. Yellow is weak to green. Black okay. and white are exactly the same. Okay. So, you may be looking at this and wondering, well, this doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to know a lot about games. Why is he Why is he being an idiot? What is this? I feel like there's a secret to this. There very much is a secret to this. Uh, and what is that? You'll, you'll, you'll find out once I get... Nah, uh, come here. Come here. There's a chest. I didn't need that at all. That was completely worthless and <laughs> a waste of my time. Tablet? So is this the running in yeah, circles? Yeah, this is running in circles. Ugh. And because of that oh, ledge God. in particular that we just dropped down, yeah. you cannot do this backwards. You cannot cheese it. Like, you can't drop down that ledge, or you can't... You can't run him back towards that ledge? Because he can jump up it and you can't. Uh, 
delicious. You just got to keep running towards yep. them slowly. Because you have a in. slightly faster run speed, which is specifically why I turned off that, hey, press circle to run. I, no, no. no. I, I think I'll run all the time. Thanks. That'll mm -hmm. be great. Blue, blue, blue. Fight the beach bum. A close relative of the murder hobo. <laughs> uh. Okay. So you probably already explained this, but you started the thing at level zero, and now you're up to level three. Yes. So... Basically, you level up throughout the fight, and then it all resets at the beginning of the next fight? Yes. Well, this isn't exactly levels. This is, uh, like, your tiers of magic that you can gain. Oh, uh, uh, okay. For each hit attack, depending upon the stamina gain, you gain the ability to use an element of that total. Gotcha. And then if you use that, it goes down by the amount the element you used is... For instance, if I use this cure element, I would go from three to one. Mm. But it takes uh, my stamina into negative seven. Gotcha. So I would have no abilities to do anything for the next turn. Mm. As it is, the game doesn't really have turns. I'm gonna be honest, I don't exactly understand the combat system myself. It's a bit strange. Yeah, let's go with strange. Strange is definitely the word I strange was thinking. Strange is a good one. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I now have. Let me. I have no key items. That's disappointing because I wanted to show them. Show something. Huh? Guess I'll have to do it later. Okay, yeah, I gotta. <laughs> Entering combat, I don't need to. <laughs> that is the name of the game. And by that I mean not at all, because there is no grinding. I I don't understand how this is a JRPG without grinding. It's it's fascinating, isn't it? There's absolutely no grinding. But you can grind and gain additional stats. They're just not as much help as you would normally get from mm -hmm. grinding. Because you can't exactly level up. Yeah. Huh. And you only gain uh, additional magic slots when you defeat a boss and get a new summoning star. Hmm. However, on the upside, there's a lot of bosses and the very beginning ones, not really that difficult. Hmm. Oof, God. Hmm. All eight points of health. I'm, I was a bit worried there. I was worried that I was going to actually have a challenge or something. <laughs> Some of you people watching may have guessed I might have played this game a bit Just a at bit. some point in time during my life. Maybe. We're still not sure. It's a possibility. Underwater chest? Bang it with a rock! Yeah, that'll totally that's, be that's, what works. That's how you get chests to float up the thing. Especially ones that have silver loops in them, right? Yep, and are entirely encased in metal. 
Alright, so... Hey, look! An item that improves my hit percent chance. Boom. Glad I could not dodge. <laughs> that happens. That it does. You can't avoid every conflict. Sometimes you've got to just dive in head first, screaming, and saying in. that we're the challenged, forgetting to rage and reckless attack, and just completely yeah. being boom. <laughs> the boon every battle is an unavoidable battle. Even battles that aren't battles are unavoidable battles. Is Boone in the chat? Can we get a confirmation? No, I don't know. I don't think so. I sent a text to him. Yes. He might be at work. Maybe not at work. He's definitely not at work. Yeah, because you guys just got off. In which case, he should be in the chat. How dare you. How dare you, Boone? How dare you? See if I'll keep you alive as Philbert now. I definitely will. I don't want to tank things anymore. I'm a wizard. I'm squishy. Don't hurt me. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Pain what? is coming your way. Of course pain's coming my way. I'm playing Philbert Hazelnut. <laughs> I named this character. This character is destined to have a bad time. Mm -hmm. Lightning bolt from the sky is always a good decision. Mm. I didn't know that uh, that Bobby was in the chat, Phoenix. Oh yeah, I haven't told you that D and D story yet. No, you haven't. So uh, this was in a campaign that I was not a part of, but I'm pretty sure the GM. Hello. Well, hello there, Caleb. Hello there. But I'm pretty sure the GM is currently in the chat and now exclaiming that he's a tree. <clears throat> but, uh, one of our friends likes to play barbarians, you know, big guys, axe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so yep. sounds a bit familiar, right? Sounds familiar. But, uh, so, uh, he was playing a barbarian and was it, was it Kobolds, Phoenix? Yeah, it was Kobolds, wasn't it? I'm going to wait for confirmation on this, on that story. Could be kobold, could be uh, yeah. Goblin. Okay, yeah. yeah, it was kobolds. So there was like a like a group of kobolds coming at them, and they all rolled to hide. So uh, naturally, mm -hmm. barbarians are not the sneakiest of classes, no. and he rolled rather poorly. Okay. So to role play how he hides. He looks at the coming kobolds, sticks his arms out, and goes, I'm a tree! <laughs> and then proceeds to get hit with the several rocks. <laughs> this sounds about right. Uh, Sebowodos. Sudowodos? Sudowodo! This moment has always confused me in this game. The X button exits this text box. This text box says press the X button to jump. The X button pressed when that text box is up only exits the text box. Huh. But then... You press X to jump. No, you have to realign yourself because you're not quite lined up where you have to be to jump. Gotcha. Uh, uh, now you gotta swing back around. Like, like I said, it's been a little bit since I've played this game. Yeah. I'm not gonna be 100%. I'm no speedrunner. Okay. I know I've heard Sudowodos before. What in the world is that? He is a tree-type Pokemon from Generation 2. There it is. Okay. And I jumped too early. 
I don't know why I can't remember that, but my memory is crap. Sudowoodle. That's right. He's the one that actually has his arms like sticking out with the little bulbous things on the end, right? Yes. He's yeah. a tree. You have to water him. Let's see if I can land on this. Good luck. The, the mechanics are interesting in this in that it's like... Nope. Is that there's so much like buffer room from the time you hit the button to when you actually jump off to when you actually land. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just the mo getting down the timing. It's no worse than any other game. It's just... Coming from one direction is actually easier than the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look. Only two Komodo Dragon Pops. I wonder if this is going to be a particular easy fight. Mm -hmm. There's no beach bum or anything. Sarcastic, you're really being here. It's like, are you being sarcastic in me? No, this fight won't be very hard. Or are you being sarcastic in me? There's something coming, and this fight will be hard. Like that, suddenly, boss. You will understand. <laughs> you see, taken down. There it is. A bunch of pups. Where do? Where do Komodo dragon pups come from? Komodo yes. mama. Now, uh, here's the big question. Komodo dragon pups were blue. Okay. What color is their mom? No idea. Oh, blue. blue. You see, I'm an idiot. Because <laughs> I could have sworn that at one point she was red. She was red. Oh well. But none of this really matters. Because for being a giant lizard, she underestimated one very major thing. But there's two of me. <laughs> Fail. Yes. Is it just random whether she's blue or red? Uh, no. I'm just an idiot. You're that's idiot. that's that's really the description the that kind of, of it. yeah. This is this is my experience playing this game. That's rough, buddy. And all the people saw it live. Yeah. I never said I was any sort of expert. Didn't have to be. As you can see, the bosses ha each have individual animations that change as their health depletes. Uh, so it just look they start to look more hurt. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, the dog is a better fighter. Of, of course, dog. the dog's a better fighter. That dog. No, it's technically main character status. You cannot tell me that you can't look in that dog's eyes. You look in that dog's eyes and you will just see your death. I've watched this dog suplex a creature from beyond time and space. I'm excited to see this. Oh, hey, look. I've gained a new level. Gained six HP. Six times more than I was gaining in any of those other fights. Nice. hey -o. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. And Blade the Great Lifon. And uh, the dog has gained seven. Oh. One strength and one magic. Oh. What is this dog, a tank? Yes. Uh, speaking of tanks, eventually I'll have to fight one. 
You think I'm joking, but would, I'm not. I would like to uh, go back to a chat from earlier here. Let's see. What is this game? What even? is this game? What type of game is this? I would agree. What type of game is this? A good one. Mm. That is yet to be determined. But so far, so Gucci. Don't worry. It's not like this dog will grapple a displacer beast and roll nat 20s when the displacer beast attempts to uh, get through that. But uh, the best part about this is now, since I had to go through there, Mm -hmm. on the map screen, I can just walk straight through. Nice. So... I never have to go there again. Sweet. Technically. Technically. Okay. Wonderful Coral Beach. Gorgeous. Why are we here? This is where our girlfriend said she'd meet us. Ah. On the other end of this incredibly dangerous place that she expected us to go and kill things, she was just going to... Walk right on through. Gotcha. <laughs> the wonderful part about this game is they'll write text for if you brought the dog with you. That's fantastic. Or if you brought her dog with you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Typical fantasy setting. Are you two on a date? <laughs> I think I should leave you alone. <laughs> No, no, no. No. No, Dog don't stays. be don't be silly. You shouldn't leave us alone. We're not on a date. We're just dating. I yep. bullied him into going to get me a gift. <laughs> you just had to murder so. a sm- large number of children and their mother for these. Mhm. Not like it was anything dangerous. No. Couldn't have been anything dangerous. That and nobody ever questions the only talking dog. Not talking animal. Not talking beast person. Dog. Specifically a dog. So it's the only dog that talks. Yes. There are other dogs in the game. Only one that talks. Only one that talks, huh? Huh. Wonderful emotional time music. Let's talk about how the water will just ignore us. <laughs> uh. um. Do you remember? No, I don't remember shit. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Do you remember that day? Nope. You forgot about the promise we made. Nope. I just don't want to remember that day. Oh, yeah. Another thing. Your character almost drowned a certain number of years ago and was attacked by a giant panther thing. Gotcha. In fact, I think it's you almost drowned because you were attacked by a giant panther thing. Which makes no sense, because this is a coral beach. Yep. Huh. Whoa there, lady. Whoa there. You're making a huge assumption for a guy that keeps trying to blow you off. When we're married in 10 or 20 years... You what? What should we make of this day? Hmm... We'll forget it eventually. Nah, mm-hmm. we're gonna remember today forever. Mm-hmm. Ooh, spooky voice from nowhere. You better stop and listen. Is it saying my name? Mm-hmm. It is. Hmm. A voice that only he can hear. He's going crazy. Well, of course, he can hear the dog talking. (laughs) 
Pre-rendered cutscene. Ooh. Oh. Here it comes. And a tidal wave. <laughs> Where'd your girlfriend go? You'll understand. Well, considering the spoiler in the cutscene, I'm very deeply confused. <laughs> GG, good game. GG, we're all dead. We're all dead. We all float down here. All of us. Haven't seen it, but I've seen people getting really excited about it, too. You Maybe. look at me like you don't understand that I never watch movies. No, I'm Unless looking at you like I me. understand that uh, the rest of the D&D &D group is going to see It 2 on Saturday. Or Friday. Friday. It's Friday evening. I was going to say, Saturday evening, you have other plans. Whoever said anything about evening, I'm not going to do anything Saturday evening. Aside from sit in that corner and cast <laughs> Fireball. In that corner and aggressively cast fireball. Yeah. Maybe, maybe depending on if we've got the kinks worked out, I'll. Uh, what was the spell again? Uh, polymorph. I'll polymorph something, but other than that, I'm pretty much not good for much. Mm -hmm. Currently, you're running really low on spell slots. Currently, I do believe we hit the maximum number of encounters per day without T. <laughs> TPK total party wipe. Yeah, you're all looking a little rough. Yeah, yeah. Let's cast a seventh level spell at our small party. That sounds like a way of not murdering people. Hey, you survived. You made it. Barely. <laughs> yes, and you know how I said we weren't coming back here, right? Yeah. We're back here. Why? What important thing is here? Well, look, everything is different. Everything the map's is exactly the same, but things aren't exactly the same. What's going on? And there's a chest that I got before. Why is this full? Chests keep popping back up. Keep nope. Returning. This some timey wimey bullshit. We'll find out. But I will tell you this. Unlike the previous game of this one, mm -hmm. this one has nothing to do with time travel. Mm. For your character. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright. Something, 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 something parallel dimensions. Something, something, something dark side. Something, something dark side. Something, something, something complete. <laughs> also, hello, Jordan. Nice to see you in somewhere. Whenever you manage to decide to join the chat with the rest of us. Actually, drop in and say hi. I know you're there. In fact, you told me. Oof. Oof, God. Don't worry, they managed to hit the tank with fireball. It's fine. Who really is a tank? Hmm? It's like, what are you? Oh, hey, look. These fish are red. 
That's what you were thinking about the red. Yes, communism so, is never far from my mind. So is there going to be a boss at the end of this one too? Because this is your second time going through it. We will see. And did you choose to go through this? Or did you, uh, or were you first forced to go through it? For some reason, I was not able to walk through as I had walked through previously. Gotcha. Something, something, join me. Join me. And together, we will sleep through every important thing we have ever needed to do. Do, do it. Do it. Still love that video of just, oh. it's <laughs> the battle between Anakin Skywalker and... Uh, I have the high ground. And I said I have the... You underestimate my I power. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if we stand here for too long, we'll get hit by the fish roaming around and we'll get drawn into battles. Useless battles. Yeah. Nice. I mean, they drop ingredients you need for making weapons and such, but... Okay. Mostly useless. Yep. No. I'm thinking of the uh, video that's just... Uh, it's Anakin versus... Uh, Count Dooku, and it's on the ship, and it's, uh, they're going back and forth, and all the lightsaber sounds are changed to do, do it. it. Do it, so do it, 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 and then when, uh, when he says the famous line, it's lightsaber sounds. sounds. Another thing, once you level up, you will begin gaining stats up to a certain point between your level ups. Hmm. Otherwise, you don't really gain stats. So there is a small amount of grinding, but it's minimized as your total stats are capped. Hmm. I need to stop giving explanations while standing <laughs> in the middle of areas I get into fights. <laughs> Some would call that wise. Some people being me. Some people are not Boone Reeker. I am not Boone Reeker. He's not even here to defend himself. That's why we can attack him <laughs> without worrying about attacks of opportunity. Phoenix, you find my witty humor funny? You fool. You fool. You know nothing. You see nothing. I have discovered something through streaming is that a lot of my comedy involves saying something that people have said before, like what they just said, but saying it in a different tone of voice. I but don't know saying it in a different tone of voice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, yes. Yes. I don't know why, and it's not funny at all, but it's just... It's it's a weird habit of mine, and I'm not sure why it exists. All right, now I can give descriptions about things without getting <laughs> combat. Well, you've finished almost all of the fish except There's one. There's just one fish roaming around randomly in the circle. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody, no, nobody needs to know about that fish. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just we'll just leave him alone. It's, it's, you got to repopulate the fish population somehow at some point. Oh, hey, look. Moto Dragon. You cannot resist my witty humor. Feel it. Also stay hydrated. I would stay hydrated, but I bought a bottle of plum vodka. <laughs> yes. Hmm. I would like to throw my axe. I would like to throw my axe at the different tone of voice. But but that's going to be very difficult. You need to roll a natural 20. God damn it, Bobby. Phoenix will understand that reference. He's said that more times than I can count. I'm pretty sure I can count quite a bit. A 
sit here and jam out to the music a little bit. It's good shit. This music is fantastic. One thing I can say that's perfect about this game is it's orchestrated perfectly with music. Got another ivory helmet. You're getting all the good things. Well, hey, look, now I can walk straight through it. What's this? What kind of memory bowl crap is this? Time to go to the village. He's that guy. Unless hey, I'm saying he's hey stranger. stranger. What are you buying? <laughs> you know what's popular with the girls these days? A bracelet made from rainbow shell. Hmm. It's like I talked to this guy intentionally to show you that somebody something's changed. Yep. Well, tough luck, kid. Get out, get out the way. Figure out how to get in the house. <laughs> it's so hard with these incredibly well painted backgrounds. Oh, hey, look. That lady looks familiar. Yeah. It's like she ditched us on a damn beach. Photon ray oh, earlier. It was photon ray earlier? So yep. now you have two photon rays. Yes. I'm so confused. Much confusion is to be had. No. Oh. The rabbit hole goes deeper. <laughs> you could just jump. Yep. Never. Attempt to understand what Boshul is actually saying. No, I got it. What? Uh. Oh, cool. Who are you? Well, it looks like that wave bashed my girlfriend on the head. Now she has no idea who I am. Cool. Great. Now I don't have to wake up early to get rainbow shells or something. <laughs> Her siblings don't know who I am. What's this? What is this kind of forgetfulness? Nani? Are we dealing with a, uh... Oh, gosh, what is it? Ah, never mind. I can't remember the name of the creature. You look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. Huh. Considering I am the boy that lived next door to her, I, I, I would I would say there's probably a reason. What was his name, or what happened to him? Hmm. Let's ask his name. Why? Why do you want to know his name? <laughs> awesome. Because you mentioned a random boy that lived next door to you, woman. Gotcha. <laughs> New unique music. Nice. That boy died. Sadly. Can we get some Sadly. F's in the chat for Dat Boy? What up? <laughs> Here he comes. Being erased from existence in real time. Yes. Dead memes. Dead memes, anybody? Get your dead memes. Get your dead memes here. Get Bring, your Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Yeah. <laughs> this all Not happened dead yet. 10 years ago. But he was <laughs> dead <laughs> 10 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> 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 
So he almost died in one. If I'm understanding this correct, ten years Chad ago, and this ten years ago, he almost died in one timeline and didn't, and actually died yep, in the other one, straight up dead. And his mom died like right after. Oof, God. Hmm. His name was Serge. Serge. Gotcha. But that me. But that me though. That me. That me though. It's going to drive me crazy. I got to figure out what this monster is. I think I know what it's called. Let's see. Let me guess. It's a monster that affects your memory. Uh, it affects more than just your memory. Well, uh, it's a shame you can't remember what it is. No irony in that. <laughs> Thanks. It's not Guabble Block because there's not six people playing the character, Phoenix. <laughs> what? I'm confused. Nobody's been up to the gravesite in a while. Why don't you go there? Mm-hmm. And then everyone can report a spooky ghost at the gravesite. <laughs> I hope it's not what you think it is. I hope you've forgotten. <laughs> Spooky ghosts. Can I interest you in something? I have great elements. I would like to see your lighting elements, please. I need a new fixture. Oh, hey, look. Selling fireball. Oh. Okay, that's why I had so many. I, I now remember what I did wrong. So, uh, with those aqua beams, why I had so many is instead of pressing right to increase it by one, I pressed up to increase the number I bought by ten. I may have done that with Fireball too. <laughs> I might actually be retarded. We'll see. <laughs> We're not entirely sure. Uh, Some dirt. Some well, that's dirt. not an element. That's a compound. Well, thank you for the dirt. I want a dirt, I'd buy it from Sipsco. Top quality producers of dirt. Look at all these chests. Loot. It was just something that I saw in a D and D thing. Actually, a D and D story on YouTube. Which actually, I will probably go ahead and keep from saying anything because I might actually end up using it. Anyway, look at this lovely, lovely rendered, painted background sunset. Perfectly nice. Yep. Now, had I come here previously, this stone would say, Serge and Lena forever. Mm-hmm. Obviously not carved by Surge. Yep. Now... But for time's sake, I thought I'd... And they kind of uh, ruined the surprise here when they're like, there's something written on the tombstone. What? It's a tombstone now? Mm-hmm. Rip, Surge. Sad face. I came from the sea. I crawled out of the water like the ocean man. You must be the ghost of the boy that died ten years ago, says to 17-year-old man standing on grave. Don't move. Don't move. Sorry, Junior. Oh, no and uh, if you missed it, they just kicked the dog off the cliff. 
want a dick. The dog. Oh. No. Yes. Karsh and his two subordinates, Salt and Pepper. <laughs> Oh, and uh, we're getting to the point where your decision from previous, before we started, will have impact on the gameplay. Hmm. Hmm. And here is a rogue. Now all we need is a mage and we'd have a D&D &D party. That was quite the jump. Yep. I'm impressed. You don't want us to hurt you. <laughs> I, I completely forgot she talks with an incredibly, uh, I think it's like East London accent. Well, if you insist. You rolled seven. We got a four. Who are you, Bryce? <laughs> you fail at passing time. Yeah. At least you didn't critically fail to pass time. Now you have more time to kill. Roll to pass time, time to sleep. Roll to pass time. You uh, fell into a time vortex and moved six seconds into the future. Now I get to fight with a new character in my party. Because she just jumps out of nowhere. This is fantastic. Surge and girl. <laughs> I miss dog already. Salt. Pepper. <laughs> it sounds like some sort of stupid name I would come up with. When my character, when my PCs ask me what names these people are, what is your name, useless NPC? He even talks like your NPCs. <laughs> Sir, his innately innate element attribute is white. Quick, attack him with the opposite color, black. How oh, unfortunately unfortunate. Fortunate. Do not seem to have any, sir. Waiting for him to just look at me and go, fuck off. <laughs> uh, Always carry elements of every color. Excellent way of doing tutorials. Yep. <laughs> I'll have you show us how it's done. You were the best fool and just... Uh, uh. He doesn't have any. Real added. men don't need magic when they can fight. <laughs> I I accidentally forgot to take any elements, and now I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> so he went to attack a ghost with no elements. Yeah. Because ghosts are very much damaged by uh, physical damage, aren't they? Mm-hmm. I like how you have the same health as the rogue. Yeah. That's because I'm technically a rogue? Hmm. Kind of? Hmm. Either that or a shitty fighter. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> uh, now we get to see an element that I have not seen before in this playthrough of the game. It attacks everybody. Yes. And I can attack once. Now we get an answer to that question. What happens when you run out of stamina? Hmm. Pretty much nothing. Pretty much nothing. There is, there is no serious repercussions for my rash actions. Okay. We explained this once before, but the difference between one, two, and three is how much stamina it takes, yeah. as well as how much stamina it recovers? Yes. Okay. So it takes three stamina to hit, 
but you'll also recover three stamina if you hit. Yes. Well, the rest of your party will recover three stamina yeah. if you hit. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, if their stamina recovery rate is one, because it can be like 0.8, like potions, or is it 0.9? Mm-hmm. I can't remember. I could look it up, but... There is a chart in the game that shows you all those stats that are important that aren't really important. Got a subscriber. Oh. So it needs to be 30. There we go. Perfect. I believe that transfers over. Yeah, we're good. Sweet. Yes. Now the rest of you watching. Subscribe. <laughs> Reach our subscriber. Yeah. When we reach our subscriber goal, I will learn to talk English properly. <laughs> <laughs> I will also tell. I know, girl is a great name for a character. Heyo, Venus. Thanks for finally subscribing. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the family. He's been wanting me to learn to speak English properly for like years. It's not gonna happen, man. I'm sorry. Hey, we understand. I understand signal being. Kind of spotty. Yeah. If we get another subscriber, I will actually try to get sleep tonight. <laughs> Good luck. Girl, 14 HP. <laughs> one magic and one magic resistance. The rogue has more health than me. The, the, the rogue has more health than me. I'm sorry. Oh, look. I found a power glove. You still need one of those posters. Now we're gaming with power. <laughs> I do need one of those posters, but they're so hard to find. I... <sighs> I need to look to see if there's any on like Etsy or something. I'm I'm almost or tempted yeah. to be like I can find one in 20 minutes on Google. <laughs> I probably can. I just haven't taken. Time These to are look. no ordinary beasts we're dealing with. You're right, Pepper. These are just actual kids. <laughs> They're meddling kids, and you kick their dog off the cliff. Oof. Scooby, no! <laughs> Oof, God. <laughs> All right. We got another subscriber, which means. Gotta update the subscriber goal. Yeah. 31. Okay. Perfect. Carry on. <laughs> hey all. Hey all. Hey all. Every time, the best part, name was girl. Actual <laughs> name is kid. Time to change it up? Nope, that's not their names. <laughs> Changing them is to change their names. And Oh, hey, look. It's some skinny pain. <laughs> you missed the insults to Boone, Cordell. You did. He was going to town. I said nothing that wasn't true. <laughs> and you all know it. Hmm. Where did the grave go? No, it's closer to the end. It's on the very perilous spot that there is no way that you could actually dig down and bury a body. Mm-hmm. I think it's just a marker. Yeah. There it is. It's there. It was just farther out than I thought it was. How about you and me team up for a while? So, uh, what would you choose? 
if random rogue jumped in, saved you, and said, how about we team up? Uh, probably yes. Well, uh, I hate to break this to you, but you already chose no. Really? I gave you the choice. Oh. Knife, knife or spatula. spatula. And we're doing spatula. And we're doing spatula. I don't know. I, mean, I can always type something. No. Here we go. Boop. Ha! <laughs> it comes through as my actual name. Yes. Because I have... I'm signed into a different account on a different thing. That's funny. Word. Oh, hey, look, it's saying it's giving me that chance. You're, are you sure you want to not travel with this rogue? We chose Spatula. All right. The rogue who gains the steel skill allows us to get a lot of loot really quickly in the early game. But we chose Spatula. Yo. Hey, Sakuya. Welcome in. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Oh, hey, look, it's giving me a third chance. But we <laughs> chose Spatula. All right. You know what now? It doesn't make sense. Gotcha. Hey knew I should have chose knife. Oh, don't worry. Oh, we were doing it for the memes. She joins the party anyway because she's an essential character. Gotcha. And here comes the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, hey, look. It's our room, but not because our mom is dead. We're now officially Batman. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely our girlfriend. Busts into the room we're staying in, rented from another guy to wake us the fuck up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How do you think it feels to just be Surge, who I know to be dead? Man, Surge isn't special. Most of us are dead all the time anyway. <laughs> I can't depressing. leave you alone like this. You don't seem like such a bad person either. I'm going to travel with you, and you get no choice in the matter because you chose Spatula. <laughs> so you get to travel with your uh, controlling and abusive girlfriend from another world. Oh. Want me to check my Snapchat? Fine. Gotcha. Well, I I suppose I made this choice without knowledge of what this choice was all about. You couldn't have knowledge. Otherwise, there's an obvious choice. But there is no other way to get this character in your party. And Kid joins you no matter what. Very, uh, very creepy. You said there's no other way to get this character in the party? Nope. So it's best to do Spatula? I mean... Oh, she's pretty useless and not that helpful. Okay, I see that, Sakuya. Yeah? That's awesome. You getting prepared for it too? <laughs> no, see, see, you have a girlfriend in this world, but she doesn't remember you in another world. That's the issue. Cordell, that would require you to have a girlfriend. Yes. We all know what happened with the last one. And I'm sorry. Yeah. You didn't deserve that. That was me. See? Look at this. Nice. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. We've got someone who's innately blue. Uh, I don't want to put elements <laughs> in here. Auto allocate. Just her. Girlfriend and, not respecting uh, your rights. Why would I not... Whoop. 
oh. right to sleep. Oh, she's so underleveled. Yes, I know. Now, if only there were levels in this game. She's just useless. <laughs> she's just useless. Not only learn to speak English, but also learn to type. Wow. Uh, yeah, we rented that room from that Komodo dragon that could talk. That's staying in this house without knowledge of the owner. <laughs> Go play outside. Marge? Who's that? Who's that? Take that Poshul never said Marge once at all in that rambling sentence that he just spit out of his dog mouth. <laughs> get out of here, man. Man, get out of here. Spent the night in some random dude's house, and he didn't notice until we came out in the morning. If I had a nickel for every time that's happened to me, you'd I'd have like two nickels, but still, considering the thing, that's a lot of nickels. I don't know how you automatically knew I had two nickels. Bye, but... Sakuya. Bye. Thanks for stopping in. Bye. Bye. I'd know that bye anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley catch a dory. Don't get that reference, but it sounds funny. Oh. It just kind of made me laugh for no apparent oh, reason. Oh, yes. I forgot. This is the part where we get to pretend to be exorcists. This is just a lovely game. A fantastic game. We get to pretend to be exorcists. But we don't have to. But we have to at some point. Gotcha. This couch, man. Sorry. It's just... I just realized that, like, when me and Tommy play Shadow of War, he eventually gets into this, like, relaxed position of just laying back. Anger. So essentially, rage. He just raged. Yes, that's what you're telling me. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, no, eventually he ends up in this leaning back position, and I just recently realized was that I had started. <laughs> I had ended in the leaning back position. This well, couch is just so incredibly comfortable. Yeah. That's why I'm very happy we locked this chair so I can't lean back away from the microphone. Mm -hmm. Anger! Down the stream, Globe? I don't know what Globe is, I'll be honest. Uh, I'd, I'd consider it Phoenix. It's a RPG system that Phoenix is... is I think he has a friend who is helping design it. And I've played it a bit, and it's actually really good. Uh, tabletop? Or... Yeah, tabletop. Hmm. We'll have to see. Eventually, when I get more microphones, I'm planning on getting some lapel or lavalier mics, uh, specifically wireless packs, so that we can have everybody have one and do like an eight pack or an eight wireless pack. Yes. But as you can see, the reason why I said knife or spatula is because she wields. Food. Yes. And if you upgrade her weapon, it becomes a frying pan. Take that, PUBG. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Triple rage. Triple rage. You now have triple advantage. Will it work? Nope. Who knows? <laughs> Will it work? You roll triple advantage ones. 
nothing happens. If anybody could do that, it'd be, uh, it'd be Bryce. No offense, Bryce. We love you. But you break now. Absolutely, totally offense, Bryce. We mean it entirely and sincerely. Don't listen to Jeff's sarcasm. Sarcasm? What's that? I don't even know if you're in I'm watching, but if you watch this later, you do break math. I'll just, I'll just put it like that. If you watch this later, Bryce, I'm sorry about the goofy voice. I'm sorry about the goofy voice. Sorry about the goofy voice. Oh gosh, you peeked in the mic on that one. Well, golly, fellas, I'm sorry about this voice, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's... Let's see. <clears throat> For some reason, I can't do the toad. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm sorry about the voice. Nope, that huh. wasn't quite right. Uh, trying to figure it out, but my voice isn't wanting to do it. Hey, are you the exorcist we sent for? Well, gosh, guys, we sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta split up and look for clues. Holy Mickey, sure is bad. <laughs> well, gosh. Well, gosh. Are you the exorcist? We ask that twice. When we say yes, we are exorcists. After being accused of being a ghost. <laughs> We are ghost exorcists. We don't worry. No, but speaking of clowns, this is actually relevant. Really? That's terrifying. Another possible character. One whom I have actually never picked up. Because you have to go find, like... Five different parts of him. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Seems like I'm causing quite a stir. <laughs> you and I are both dead, eh? Man. <laughs> hmm. I had a nickel for every time a, a random skull and clown makeup asked me to find the rest of his body parts. So AJ has been making it for 25 years, huh? Oh. That's an impressive amount of time. Yeah. Will you help me find me body? I don't know why I'm so like Scottish. Yeah, it's just... I don't it's know. It's a Scottish clown. Help me find me body? Scottish clown. Eh, yeah, sure, yeah. You know, I'll take <laughs> random skeleton head with me. Yeah. We'll be fine. I'm heavier than I look. Hey, uh, do it, uh, hey, we're, we're part of the D&D &D party now. We're just carrying a disembodied head that talks to us. Yup. It's Papyrus. Ah. Ah, see? Spaghetti. Eat my spaghetti. Just a plate of frozen spaghetti. Lots of spaghetti. Mama Luigi, to you, Mario. <laughs> oh hey look I picked a flower that no one would know was here picked a bellflower gently 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 softly firmly into the microphone you speak gently welcome to the I'm ASMR. warning you don't go down there Received a big <laughs> egg. Lots of spaghetti. It's almost ready. Under the, the sea. sea. <laughs> big toaster strudel filled with a poodle for you and me. <laughs> I just stole this bird's egg for seemingly no reason. You got thingamabobs? I got 20. No oh, wait. I now, have, I now have key items. I can show you this. No big deal. Every single key item 
has had its own image drawn. Nice. The big egg that we just stole from a bird. <laughs> a human skull. A human skull. Let's make it. Huh. A secret's gonna do reveal. I wanna know how a human skull is able to keep a red nose on. Because the red nose normally goes over the nose, yeah. but with a skull, there is nothing there. All the cartilage and everything has disappeared off the nose. Ace, I hate to tell you this, there's a talking dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think our problems are much bigger. You think? Oh, hey, look, it's Pepor. All right, let's sit up. And salt. Okay, that would make sense. So it's like, it's a, it's a, uh, oh gosh. Yeah, that's, that's where I was going. I was going to say it's a plug-like thing with a little bulbous end. I don't think you're supposed to stick those in your nose. <laughs> that, keep playing. <laughs> I don't want to hear any lip from you. <laughs> but you'll hear all of my lips. Is that whispers? I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't me. You're welcome for that. But I don't know how well you could hear it. Hey, oh! Time to fight Salt and Pooper. It's Pepper, not Pooper. Yeah. Close enough. Oh, wait. They, they brought a black element this time. What could it be? Couldn't be more tutorialism. Always more tutorialism. Tutorialism. If I can speak with my lips, that would be fantastic. Oh, hey, look. The element he's using is called Turn Black. This, these two are our D&D &D party. Yeah. Rages. the pepper box. Oof, God. That's actually the first time I've seen them use that combo properly. Ouch. Oh, and the other thing, since you chose uh, spatula, we don't have an all attack element. Because she had it exclusively to her. Hmm. Her attacks are complete trash. Yep. Should have gone with the knife. You should have gone with the knife. Always go with knife. It's a knife thing to do. Well, whatever. Too late now. Sixty-nine. are actually doing some serious damage to you. Yep. Come on, Poshul. Tank these hits. Mm -hmm. Defense down. Defense down again. 
again. I'm about to be straight dead, son. This is a dog casting a water beam. Don't worry about it. Why is that water beam yellow? Oh, oh, no, oh God, no! <laughs> uh, wow, we leveled up three times. We <laughs> gained 17 HP. We leveled up three times. We gained nothing. And together we shall rule the galaxy mm -hmm. as father and son. But I was going to the Tashi station to pick up some power converters. that the rogue said she was going to. Sorry, I'm totally mm -hmm. out of bellflowers. There might be some in Fossil Valley. Mm. Mm. I wonder why uh, somebody picked that. one. Uh, it's like uh, I've played this game before, maybe. <laughs> but remember, is she a red element? And that's a man. I hate to tell you this. That's not a trap. Is he a red element? No. Are you sure? I am very sure. You were sure about the dragon mama. Yeah. <laughs> you have a very solid table. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have not very solid feet. Oh, <laughs> uh, you just kicked my table, didn't you? I may have. Yeah, that'll hurt. Yeah, yeah. it'll do it. You don't say. Uh, oh, hey, uh, I'm going to talk about the guy who was going down south ghost hunting. <laughs> Freaky ghost, baby. Freaky ghost, baby. Who you gonna call? Surge. The Exorcist. Not Captain Marvel. <laughs> no, why would you ever do that? Because she won't show up when giant purple spaceman threatening to wipe out half the galaxy is attacking. Nope. That's the, that's the last thing she would do. Oh, hey, look who's waiting for me at the top of the stairs. It's Knife. <laughs> Hi, Knife. I miss you. This Sheila overhired you sweetie, didn't she? <laughs> she I completely forgot. She's not East London. She's from Australia. Gotcha. Picking up what you're putting down here. Uh. We don't see Cthulhu for quite a while, Phoenix. Gotta go under the sea. Got to go under the sea. Under the sea. Over here, under the sea. Everything's better down where it's wetter. Better. Take it from me. Tell me. Does the shopkeeper have thing in the box? Because I got plenty. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Since when did you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Fun fact, there is an ending to this game where you end up with her despite your girlfriend. You stay in this parallel world and you end up with her. 
That's rough. It's beautiful. It's uh, personally one of my favorite endings to this game. It's, it's not it's not like that. He's my cousin. Isn't that right? Huh. Sir. Do I want to go along with being the cousin of the girl I'm dating in another world? Or do I want to just be like, nah, she's full of shit. <laughs> of course, I'm just going to be like, nope. Oh, so she's your girlfriend. Hmm? Mm. Looking for all that dirt. Well, if you still want to go on a date, that's cool with me. What a flirt. Now you can see why you end up with her. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at all these elements I can buy. Look at them all. I can accidentally buy 11 magma bombs. I wish you don't waste all your gear. Buying 11 magma bombs. Don't worry. I got this. Do you? Don't worry. I got this. Because now I got dash and slash. Dash and slash. And canine ball. I can't remember what hers is. Oh, maiden hand. <laughs> Real slap in the face to body and soul. Got it. Do it. Do it. Kill him. Bushwhacker. <laughs> Some people call Australians bushwhackers. Yeah. Uh, or, or, or am I, or am I thinking wrong? I, I've known you for long enough to know you're probably always thinking wrong, but I think you might be correct in this situation. At times warm, at times strict. Master Viper watches over us always. Well, it's a cocktail. Go on. <laughs> it's an alcoholic milkshake. It lost me at milkshake. Mm hmm. It's similar to a creamy chocolate pina colada. Cordell's just laughing because bushwhacker. <laughs> oh, now I'm getting invited to break into oh, this giant yeah, manor. Okay. Should I break into the giant manor? of the military industrial complex. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the obvious choice, choice right? Obviously. This Mage and Rogue Adventures. Okay. So, Bushwhacker. American English, literally, one who beats the bushes. Perhaps modeled on Dutch Bushwacker. Or however you pronounce that in Dutch. Hey. Which, which means forest keeper. I have received the Kelly Porter. <laughs> Thank you. For it allows us to change party members by teleporting them. Not to be confused with teleporting. Gotcha. Oh. And one thing to note, every time you get the join text, it is in the same way the character would speak. 
join your party. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. And now everything is right again. Now everything is right with the world. I was yep. gonna ask if you were gonna put on knife because I was gonna request it. Special lady of candy. Now here's one thing that's nice. Here is the 3D model of each character. And also, notification, Knife is 16. Remember this, people. She's 16. <laughs> good to know. Very good to know. There. Just my position. There we go. Give her a bushwhacker. <laughs> Alright. Now, our current goal is to break into Viper Manor, which okay. is a military building. There are three ways of doing it. A good question. How old is Search? How old is Search? If I remember right, he is 17. Yep, he is 17 and male. All right. Perfectly legal. Hoshu the Wonder Dog uh -huh. is age unknown. He is so does time. I exist beyond time. You do not know my dominant paw. Do you think this color was a sign of ownership? No. It is withholding my Power. Oddly enough, that is true. <laughs> Poshu is the final boss. Spoilers. Right. <laughs> Calling it now. So, the question. Do you want to go climb up the back wall to Viper Manor? Do you want to go through the forest and through a tunnel and enter through the well? Or do you want to beat down the front door? Uh, I, I'll, I'll give you this other point. One way gives you a warrior. Okay. One way gives you a bard. And one way gives you a wizard. Gotcha. This yeah. section of the game is the actual reason to get every character you must play the game three times. Dumb. Wizard? Wizard. Wizard? <laughs> Let's do wizard. Ah. So we're going with... The character that is assumed supposed to have been a character from the previous game. Huh. And nobody knows because they didn't do the lore. Hello, my name is Guile. I'm wearing a mask and mysterious. I couldn't possibly be anybody else. Nope, no sir. Huh? <laughs> Have a bit with the fortune teller that I can break into this manor. Huh? Before I do anything, mm -hmm. I will go show you the warrior. And I believe I can actually show you the bard. Mm. I'm not sure if it takes starting his way into the manor to run into him.
Oh, wait, no. I can easily show you the bard. See that giant poster of a man wearing nothing but a belt on his chest and <laughs> he wields a guitar as his weapon? Okay. An electric guitar. All right. That's the bard. I will happily choose either wizard or fighter. Oh, no. You interact with him from the other world later. Ah. Forgot I can't get through here because there's a corgi in the way. <laughs> this corgi terrified a three foot eight wonder dog of unknown age and origin. <laughs> corgi is dangerous. Unlimited power. Let me, let me enter the smithy. Come on, open the door. Let me in. Let me in. Here is our warrior. Um, this is Pierre. He is French. <laughs> oh, pardon me, monsieur. Moi, I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> Mon name is Pierre. I'm on my way to see the general. I am a hero. I have a medal, and I will become one of the best people in this country. I am a splendid swordsman, although I have lost my medal to a small child. And I cannot get past this corgi that is blocking the fence on the way outside. Sacre bleu, what am I to do? So, uh, you now know the three options. You can go with the mysterious wizard guy. The, uh, the French swordsman. Or the half-naked bard. I mean, in the bard's defense, at least he calls the... Guitar is axe. Fair. I mean, that is fair. Uh, and if I remember right, he does the most damage. You want me to choose the bar, don't you? No, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't like that way into the castle. It's a pain. He does the most damage. Oh. What would you prefer? You're the one playing. Mm. I'm assuming you generally pick the wizard. Actually, I usually go through the front gate. Which is the fire. Yep. Just because it's simpler? Well, uh, there's a guard golem on the front gate you can steal iron from. All right. You have a good night, Phoenix. Sleep well, bird boy. Sleep. I don't have enough money. I'll be right back before I go. I'm not breaking into the fortress with bone weapons. I'm sorry, that's not happening. <laughs> this is not a skill run. Yep. Even though this bone weapon that the main character has turns into the strongest weapon in the game. Just 
got to reach to the point where it can be upgraded first. It doesn't get upgraded. It fuses with an absolutely ridiculous item and just becomes the strongest weapon in the game. Uh, yeah. There's the bird. He's still the unhappy. Birdie. Of course he's unhappy. I took eggs that weren't his. <laughs> You'd be unhappy too if I stole somebody else's eggs from you. Yeah. Hey, look, these dingoes are very dumb and attack each other. is so comfortable I nearly fall asleep. One with the couch. You I shall do. become one. I do become one with the couch. Go ahead. <sighs> this is an absolutely terrible spot to fight things. There's that only one dingo. That's already eaten the baby. Well, that's sad. Good spot for fighting things. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a bit more money. The furious attacking dog. Something like that. I mean, if I ran into a dog and he, he talked like Poshu does, I'd actually be like, uh, uh, I'm afraid to sleep now. Yeah. Are you going to consume my soul? Probably. Yeah, that's probably how Boshul learns to talk. Consumes the souls of his enemies. Jellybean with arms. It's not truly a dog. It's... yeah. I don't know what it is. It's a wonder why people call it a dog. <laughs> why am I whispering? It's a beast. Some may say. Bolbert. Bolbert? Belberto. Belbert. 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 Belbano. Belbano. Felipe. Oh no, he's making waves. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no. Oh, let's go. How will I ever fight these things? Like that.
do about one more fight, maybe. Oh, hey, look, it's a fish guarding a chest. Do, do, do. Hooray for JRPG grinding. Yes. Luckily, this doesn't take too long because I'm just grinding for a little bit of money. Yep. Because I am a fool. How are you a fool this time? I spent all of my money on those elements accidentally you earlier. Switched over and spent a crap load on 10 fireballs and 10 whatevers. What can I say? I'm a wizard. Fireball's just in my nature. It's what I do. It's what you do. Steady got deeper into this couch. You shall become one with the couch. And becoming one with the couch. One with the couch. The couch and me are one. The new scent by Calvin Klein. <laughs> the couch. Sent by Calvin Klein. Le couch. <laughs> Lake Couch. Le Couche. <laughs> we just keep adding syllables. Eventually we'll be right. Yes. That's how French works, right? Yes. See, you just keep adding similar symbols, but just keep the spelling the same. No, no. You keep adding random letters, too. Like you'll add a G that you don't pronounce. It only denotes one thing apart from the word. Le Cauche. Le Cauche. Spelt with a G and mm -hmm. four Fs. <laughs> yup. Yeah. Because that's how we do. That's how we do. We carry only the best goods. Do you happen to have iron? build a balsam or a ladle with iron. Hmm. Time to... Well, I don't have an eyeball. I can't build a brass pick. Do, 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 do. Soothing. Because I'm not playing, my mind just like relax. Go to sleep. I'm like, no. You cannot become one with the couch. We're alive. Greetings, we're live. Yes. You remember when I've invited you over before to play a game and passed out on my own couch? Yes. It's just what I do. The whole reason you DM from this chair and not from the couch. Yeah. Pretty sure you'd pass out mid roll. <laughs> Guile enigmatically joined your party. Mm -hmm. Enigmatically. Huh? Guile. From Street Fighter. Goodbye, Poshu. Now we've got black, white, and red. Nice. Was black and white and red all over? Or part? No. Oh, also, he doesn't walk. He floats. <laughs> I thought you needed to know this. The Guile. One thing about this couch, though, is that right here, there's like the corner on this couch. It's just like jamming into my side. It's lovely. Hey, look, I can see a live mermaid. 
Hmm. This one isn't for sale. This living, sentient creature. That I have trapped in a box. Yep. find that who could possibly have a boat boom there he is. he's nothing but trouble he's perfect perfection and I said the real guy hmm. I said the real guy what business bridge only shrines. You shouldn't disturb the dead. The damn ghost. Remember, Bustin makes me feel good. Bustin, 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 Bustin make me feel good, feel good, feel good. Your laptop is still updating? Jeez. Ah. So, uh, this house, specifically, uh, is the house of two exorcists who've dis been dispatched to uh, <laughs> a valley to deal with a wailing noise coming from a, a, a dragon skull skeleton. I wonder who took their job. Ooh, they took our jobs. They're taking our jobs. Sorry, Greco is on an errand to Fossil Valley. Come back a little later. But, mm -hmm. wonderfully, you can run around, or float in his case, which is really weird, mm -hmm. with the dumbbells. Yes. And you can try and leave the house with them. But you don't keep them, and it's sad. I feel like running. It's a cutscene I have to see because I have to go around under the house. Hmm. Is that a bellflower you have there or are you happy to see me? <laughs> I'm always happy to see you, Glenn. Uh -huh. I can. It's a good question. Gotta love electronics. It hit that unlimited power spot and just went unlimited power. All right, so I can give him the flower for free, mm -hmm. so that I can offer it as an offering to the dead. As a ghost, I seem to find this off this option appealing. Okay. I can ask for money. As a JRPG player, I find this option appealing. Mm -hmm. Or I could say, nope, sorry, this flower's mine. <laughs> uh, ask for money appeals to me. How much would you like for it? I don't know. Name a price. Cheap. 
You must be very kind to offer to part with us for so little. I would have given it to free, but uh, someone said ask for money, so I decided I'd ask for a bit. Yeah. Something kind. Or yeah. like, just, just a small pittance. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Hmm. The souls that are beneath, rest beneath this sword, love this flower in life. Hmm. One of them doesn't rest beneath that sword. He's alive. Is he alive because he's from another dimension? No, he's alive because he's a psychotic murderer who fell off a cliff. Gotcha. Bound to the strongest weapon in the game. Well, that sucks. Mm. Yes. Yes. It does. Especially since his father was bound to it in the other world and was murdered. Hmm. Uh, cut scene. Everybody talks so much. Ugh. Yes, let's let's talk about this important state business in the open in front of these random people. <laughs> My father's been acting oddly since the beastly guest arrived at the manor. I don't know what's going on. D and D pot convenience. That's what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> yep. Like, hey, I'm gonna walk up to you and talk to you about information that will send mm. you exactly where you need to go because the only way I'm going to get you to do anything is by laying out a red carpet for you. Hey, man, you could always have us, I don't know, pick some apples. <laughs> that is my red carpet. It's like you That's want the plot? Proper red carpet. Mm. It's plot. Go pick some apples. You'll find plot. Then we never find plot again. <laughs> Let's go pick, pick apples. What happens? Get struck by lightning. <laughs> oh, yes. And you saw they walk through this path underneath this house, right? Yeah. Yep. Where does that path go? That path goes to here and only here. There is nowhere they could have gone. They do not exist anymore. Nope, they just disappear into the shadows. I'll catch you some big fish next time you come around, the man on a boat mm -hmm. says to the mermaid who can swim. I'm not sure what the problem is with this, but I see one. But is it really going to be a big fish this time? You only ever catch me small fry. <laughs> but your fishing skills You'll suck. suck. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I'm going to make fun of you and then I'm going to leave. You. It's just how I roll. Gonna go steal treasure from the vaults of Viper Manor. I love how that's everybody's first assumption. Oh, hey, you're you're new here. You came to steal stuff from Viper Manor. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what I did. Are you a criminal in this town? Are you a criminal? Not in this town. <laughs> as long as you can pay me, I'll take you anywhere you want. That's professionalism right there. Yes. That's the kind of customer satisfaction I live to enjoy. I shall guide you into the manor, says Mysterious Floating Man, mm -hmm. who is more of a ghost than the guy everyone's calling a ghost. Yeah. Prepare the boat. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 100 gold. Hey. There you go, 100 gil. I have 52. 
Don't worry, I got this. I got this. I know what I need to do. I need to, I need to go sell some fireballs. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's your own fault. That is my own fault. Lisa, you're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> you're tearing me apart, Lisa. Oh, hi, Mark. No, I didn't want to talk to random dragoon guy in number seven. I needed to talk to Lisa. Lisa. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Hey, I could sell a uh, tablet. I did not hit her. I did not hit her. This is bullshit. I did not hit her. I, I did, did not. not. Oh, oh hi, hi, So, uh, Cordell, on a, on a Saturday, I'm expecting you to uh, show Ace your wonderful Star Wars quotes as Smeagol. This sounds interesting. Do it. Kill him. <laughs> Do it. Kill him. You don't know the power of the dark side. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. Uh, and then we gotta go through this whole spiel again. Where he's like, well, I don't know how to get to Viper Manor. You gotta bring someone who knows. I know. Okay, well, it cost 100 gil. All right, 100 gil, here you go. Sure you can get me there? Yes, trust me. Why would I trust you? You're wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. that's, that's like number one sign of don't trust me. You got it, I would trust you. <laughs> Although, uh, I will say, once we meet the uh, exorcist, which we probably won't tonight, yeah. He will look strangely familiar to you. Good to know. He will uh, look like he needs his own theme song and he does a bit of grappling. <laughs> oh, no. no way. Who is it? Yeah, yeah, this is a good game. Uh, it's much better than that uh, Tony Hawk Underground 2. No. Yeah. You're kind of some serious shade out there. What kind of loser would want to play that game? <laughs> some serious shade out there. Yeah, man, I throw shade like it's water under a fire, all right? I know what I'm doing. This is a long ass boat ride. I thought this castle was like in the vicinity, but nope, no. Nope, nope, nope. It's like halfway around the island. God. Uh, don't worry. Technically, this isn't the world map. We're only in an archipelago. So it's just a bunch of little islands. <laughs> Cordell. Uh. You have no power here. Don't look at me. I'm not speaking. <laughs> Gotta sit up. We do some laps or something. You can start climbing. Oh, hey, look. Huh? They instantly saw me climbing up the wall. And then they start throwing boulders down at me. Nice. 
But it's just one guy throwing boulders. It's just one guy throwing boulders. Just one dude. Like... Like 40 dudes. Nice. Find a tablet. Yeah. Is it an Android tablet or is it like an Apple tablet? What kind of tablet are we talking about? Don't know. But that looked like there was a zoo bat down there. Yeah. That looks like a zoo bat. Trade it. Now. Minus ten. Minus ten. Critical miss. Gotta get all the chests. Meteorite. That might be a useful ability. <laughs> let's see what let's see what it does. This is a uh, key, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, meteorite, uh, get rid of fireball. Who needs fireball when you can summon a meteor? Ow. Man, I'm just over here getting stoned. And here's a fight. Do, do, do. Do 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 And as you can see, my weapon has a completely different skin. Because they design skins for every tier of weapon. Gotcha. For every weapon. That's impressive. Yeah. There's a lot of work that went into this game, especially <laughs> since it was a late era PS1 game. He's throwing out Shrek at you. And we have the green dragon in this game. You can keep your fancy ales. You can drink them by the flagon. Because, you know, uh, the only brew for the brave and true, it comes from the green dragon. Yeah. Where's Tyler when we need him? Mm -hmm. Drink them by the flagon, but the only brew for the brave and true comes from the green dragon. What is that from? An honest really? question. Yes, really. It's from the Lord of the Rings. There it is. There's the memory. <laughs> You I now, knew, you now understand why I rotated in the chair and looked at you. Listen, I knew I had heard it before, but my mind was going, where is that from? Where is that from? It's a, it's a Filbert Hazelnut original song. Mm. No. Ouch. The played hurt. Yeah, 10 damage. I'm going to have that stuck in my head. Where I wanted to go. Time to fight a bunch of Zubats. Comes from the Green Dragon. Yes. I didn't know this was Pokemon. Easy of jokes. course it is. Okay, what is the field effect? Um, that determine. You give me a moment to get my brain working. Uh, that is the magics that have been used the last three, and when the field is solidly one color, uh, spells of that color do additional damage, and you can only use summons when the field is solidly one color. Mm. Magma bomb. Whoa. I hope you enjoy being in this pit of boiling hot magma. And I 
I'm up at the wrong spot. Oof, God. But what I received is free fall. Ow. No. And 10 damage. Not free fall. Now it's time for me to uh, explain what I received. Mm. This is an element trap. So if you ran into a boss that uses a certain element, you can put the trap out. At the end of the fight, you will get that element. Really useful for some of the higher tier abilities, not necessarily just so that you can get them, but you can use it to walk them out. Oh, you use this uh, one ability that just wipes my party? Yeah, that's mine now. <laughs> but you used it? Yeah, that didn't work on me. Nice. Yes. Nice. got an impressive amount of attack percentage. Yeah. Pretty accurate. And his uh, one that takes three stamina is, this is a thing unique to anyone who uses a magic staff, hits everybody. Sweet. That it is. I just realized he has no uh, elements added to him. I just hit the mic. Whoops. I'm just beating up my mic, so don't worry about it. Now I've got to remember how to get over there. See if I can't keep myself awake. I don't know why I'm falling asleep. Oh, yeah. Because I just do. Don't always be like that, but sometimes it do. Sometimes it sometimes it be like that. I, I think it's just because really I'm be like that. getting relaxed. Yes. The music is pleasant. The atmosphere is pleasant. ASMR is pleasant. It's all a good time, but it's also making me relax. When I relax, I get sleepy. When I get sleepy, I get sleepy. Mm. When I relax, I lose focus. Once again, stay hydrated, my friends. So, uh, who all's in chat? Somebody, come on, everybody, speak up. Let's see who Say all's hi. here. Say hello. Say hello. Hello, Clarice. Hello, Clarice. I know I'm here. I can go ahead and just. I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm here. I'm not sure anymore. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Whatever will I do? Hello. Yeah, I can say hello. So I am in chat. No, ah, they made it up. No. Ah. 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 Ah, ha, ha, ha. Let this be the end of you. Oh no, it's a lone guard. Whatever will I do? Considering the other way I fight a giant robot, and here I fight two lone guards. I fight approximately two dudes. Not even 20 good men. <laughs> nice. Ow. I 
That's a lot of damage. Time to pilfer. Give me your loot. Ooh. I want it. It's mine now. You got a capsule. Wow, capsule corp. I didn't know we were in Dragon Ball Z. Hey, those two guards were a boss. That seemed real hard. Either other way into the castle had a much harder boss. Of course, this one had fallen rocks. In fact, the way through the front door, you fight Salt and Pepper again. On silent Salt and Pepper. Hello, Guile. Enjoying your ridiculous amount of stat gain. <laughs> Kid's not doing too bad. Sarge is doing the worst. Yep. <laughs> Dang it! Have some of this. I will miss you with a rock. Oh yeah, I forgot. Two bosses. Oh, yeah. Wait, didn't Gal just get put off the cliff? Yep, this is a different guy. Oh, wait, no, Gal didn't get put off the cliff. It was the guard that uh, slipped behind us. Gotcha. So now we're fighting King Boa Man. Red Moa Man and Blue Moa Man, who is Moa Woman. Temporarily. Hello, chat. How are you? Hello. It's late. A lot of people are probably in bed by now. Do you sleep? I'm feeling like sleep, but then again, I mean, that's just because I'm relaxed. Already done. Seriously, uh, calm music. Yeah. Even if it is battle. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have to remind you of one thing that I have realized. What is that? We have not saved this entire time. That sounds a bit terrifying. If I lose, we lose everything. Well, that would suck. So, you better not lose. You underestimate my power. <laughs> Your power to lose? Yes. Wolfga. Kid just took a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Ooh. Almost accidentally cured the enemy. Mm -hmm. That would have been bad. That would, yeah. The most spastic saver. I am also. See my Skyrim playthroughs. Like, seriously. I'm going to teleport my magic wand into the foe's innards 
as the game says. A little bit of damage. Just a little bit, but he's still standing. Straight up killed him. 85 damage. Ouch. not gonna lose here. Don't worry. If I lose, I lose spectacularly. Yep. And eat a brick. A Minecraft block. Straight to the face. Nice. You underestimate my power. So since Surge is down, does he get any experience? Uh, yeah. He still does. Because, like we said, it's not experience based, there's no levels. Gotcha. Yeah, I get that, Cordell. I do the same exact thing. I gotta. Can't trust my brain. We've made it inside of the castle. Let's wait until nightfall. Shouldn't you have waited till nightfall to climb up the wall? You would think. Hey, -o. But now we get this nice, really well rendered cutscene with a four winged dragon flying in front of the moons. Yeah, I was gonna say. Moons. Plural. Oh, hey, look, we can't save. I wonder why. Because you're in the middle of a mission? Nope. I know exactly why. We're not at a save point. Since you're not at a safe point? Save point. Save. So you can't just save anyone. Yeah. But, uh... Here's a safe point. One of the records of fate, as it is called. Hmm. Oh, hey. I wonder whose playthrough that is. Hmm. Someone who has zero stars and an hour and a half into the game. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't, don't worry about it. I'm confused as to why you were an hour and a half into the game with nothing done. I had quite a lot done. Just none of the plot. I get that. Don't be touching that. That's the key to the manor. You can't have the manor key. Wait a minute. Who are you? Mm -hmm. You must be the helpers we were told about. Yeah, yeah, sounds right. You just, you're all about uh, impersonating the help, aren't you? Hey, it gets you in all sorts of places. Yeah. You just show up and be like, hey, I'm the new help. I was hired to work here. You can get into anywhere. 
pretty much. Kind of like if you're walking with a friend and you're both wearing a similar outfit and carrying a ladder. No one's going to stop you. N <laughs> My back gave out recently and I can't feed the dragons. Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? I want you to feed these dragons for me. Now, I have done this before. I have done this to a ridiculous extent. Because it's like, I'll give you a nicer gift, depending on how many times you feed the dragons. Mm -hmm. How many times do you want to feed them? Ten times to get the key? Twenty times? Thirty times? Forty times? Or one hundred times? I am not doing this 100 times. You're not doing this 100 times? No. Because you'd have to do that 100 times. And if you miss to one twice, ten. you fail. Oh. What do you get if you do it a hundred times, though? Uh, decent equipment. Ah. Uh. Oh, hey, look, it's a knee pad. And you can show up at any other point and come feed the dragons and get the better equipment. If we had come through the forest, we would have entered through this well mm. and still had to go get the manor key. Stop right there, criminal scum. And then we will walk by the front gate as we try to enter the manor. Mm. Wow, three guards? It's like a whole one guard above an entire entire boss, boss fight. fight. Of course, there was a stronger boss fight past that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guards. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Definitely doing this quiet. Oh yeah. Super stealth. You are the knight. Two ways to play stealth games. You can stealth or you can rush in stealth. Mm -hmm. Nobody can see you and everything is dead. Our D and D party's not. Wizard goes all Miles Morales and turns invisible walking up the wall. Mm. He is Batman. He is the knight. Pretty sure Filbert is in no way, shape, or form Batman. Mm -hmm. Although, I, I still don't know if his parents are alive. He might be Batman. I'm not sure. Yeah, I got yeah, an unavoidable fight. How'd you get in here? Good question. 
best part about that fight is when you come through the front gate. How'd you get in here? I walked in through the front door, sir. Probably after this fight, we should call it. Yeah, because I'm fading. Yeah, yeah. I don't that know why. It's the wonderful music. Yep. We've also been streaming for near two hours. Uh, try almost three. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we've been going for a while. Mm. Aw. Mm. I didn't manage to steal from the guy. Sad face. Don't worry. I attempted to steal from him, and he didn't give me anything. So if I murder him, I successfully stole from him. Mm -hmm. That's not how this works, but... Hey. Close enough. It is now. That's how you're dealing with it now. Yep. Alright. I think there is a save point inside. can just oh hey look there's a knob with numbers zero times to the left zero times to the right fall down a hole all right there's like a save point pretty quickly after this all right what in one of the rooms i can't remember which room I'm going to call these guards chickens until they open the cell doors mm -hmm. to attack the people, the heavily armed murder hobos who dropped into their trap. Exactly what they are. Best part. They didn't even come in. They're like, now come out. Come out. We're going to fight you out here. Fireballs. <laughs> Go teach you a lesson. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. Quick, quick, Max. Let's go. Let's get a bop, bop, bop. Get a bop, bop, bop. Skibbity. Skibbity, bop, bop, bop. Do you know what I'm talking about? I have no idea what you've been saying for the past minute. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've shown you Skibbity. I believe I'd remember that. <laughs> Skibbity pop pop pow. Skibbity pop 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 pow. I don't remember the dance. Oh, wait, it's been too long. You're yellow. I'm the bushwhacker. Time to bushwhack. Impersonating the help. What we're going to do with these three guards is impersonate the guards. Why don't we disguise ourselves with these <laughs> guards' clothes? Perfect. Don't worry, they're not dead, but their bodies disappear.
Nice. Nice. Uh, randomly dropping enemies. Oof, God. So close. You can almost taste it. The same point tastes. And the taste. That's also a movie I need to see. Science of the Lambs. Mm. Just a large bunch of sheep being quiet. Not sure if I would be saddened. Oh, hey, look. The chef from this restaurant in the other world. <laughs> Remember if it's a Hello, friendy boy. <laughs> Better write down this important password before I forget it. Because huh? otherwise... <laughs> We'll end up down a hole. Yep. Hmm. It was this way. It was in this door. In this door? Save point. Save point. Yes. Thank you for joining uh, us, those who came to the very end. Yes. The VOD will be live coming here pretty soon. It was good seeing all of you, if not hearing from. Yeah. If you made it this far, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. If you didn't make this far, do it. Do it. Do it anyway. Act like you did make it this far, and then like, comment, and subscribe. Well, not be ashamed. If we you fell know. asleep watching this, do like, it. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you know you want to. You know we will break Marsh if we do it. You know what you must do. <laughs> now is the hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's stop. Bye. Bye.